X-Core HP is a composite wrap comprising a technical felt, a fiberglass reinforcement, and a two-part epoxy resin. It is designed to seal leaks in systems where the pressure can be entirely removed from the pipe. It is supplied in two sizes with proportioned amounts of fabric and resin to address a range of pipe diameters. The application of X-Core HP requires the field wet out of the felt and fiberglass fabrics with specific quantities of fully mixed epoxy resin. When working with X-Core HP, it is important that safety glasses and protective gloves and clothing be worn throughout the entire procedure. If epoxy resin should directly contact your skin at any point, the area should be immediately cleaned with a damp soapy cloth or alcohol wipe. Before beginning with the composite repair, all repair surfaces should be cleaned and prepared in advance. Prepare the wet out area by taping the provided plastic sheet to a flat surface. Remove the retaining nut and end plug from the cartridge and attach the supplied static mixer with the retaining nut. Next, insert the dual cartridge of epoxy into the dispensing gun. The operation of the pneumatic gun is described in a separate video. Slowly dispense resin from the cartridge filling the static mixer. Once filled, dispense about 50 milliliters or about one quarter cup of resin into a waste container to achieve complete mixing within the nozzle. Once the epoxy cartridge has been prepared, apply resin to both sides of the technical felt according to the loading described in the written instructions. Wet out enough felt to complete a single layer wrap around the entire circumference with an approximate one half inch overlap. Using the provided spreader, work the resin into the felt with long strokes and downward pressure. Apply the felt to the pipe, locating the seam of the felt wrap away from the leak site. Next, prepare enough of the fiberglass reinforcement to accomplish three circumferential wraps, again consulting the provided instructions for the quantity of resin to be used for each side of the fiberglass. Evenly dispense the required resin across the surface. Work the resin to the edges, but avoid pushing excess resin onto the plastic. When no dry spots remain, flip the fiberglass and repeat the process. For longer pieces of fiberglass, roll up the wetted section from the free end, unroll additional fiberglass, and repeat the process until all fiberglass has been wetted out. When both sides have been fully wetted, roll the coated fiberglass back onto the original core. Orient the roll above the pipe surface such that the free end is closest to the pipe. Apply the fiberglass circumferentially over the felt, pulling firmly on the roll throughout the process. Uniform tension is best achieved by keeping the roll close to the pipe throughout. To complete the application, apply compression film tightly over the composite wrap. Through a combination of overlapping and spiraling, look to apply about four layers of film in all places. As with the composite wrap, it is best to keep the roll of compression film close to the pipe when applying. Once the film is in place, massage the resin into the end sections of the fiberglass to achieve smooth transitions to the pipe. After the epoxy has fully cured, the compression film can be removed. It is recommended that the film be lightly scored along the pipe length and be removed circumferentially in a single step. Discard the compression film. It is important that protective gloves and clothing be worn throughout the cleanup procedure. Wipe down the dispensing gun to remove any unmixed or uncured resin. Carefully discard fully empty cartridges, mixers, spreader, and plastic sheet in a lined waste container. Remove gloves from the cuff, inverting the gloves as they are removed. Discard. Wash hands and forearms with soapy water. 